What's up, 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 what is up? How are y'all doing today? Guys, you already know when I got to come on live and it's not Wednesday or Friday, you already know it's an emergency session, okay? Because we have to, we have to talk about From. That is right. From is one of the best shows on TV to date that you may or may not have started watching. If you haven't, I don't even know why you're here because we are going to be talking all about the spoilers as well. So if you have not watched From at all, please leave. I just I don't want to spoil for you. That's all it is. I care about your viewing experience. So please go on somewhere if you have not watched From. But if you don't care about spoilers and if you have caught up, welcome. My name is Emmanuel Eman Noisette, and we are here to talk about the latest teaser trailer for season three of From. But guys, before we can do all of that, there this was I I can't do this by myself. I I know usually I, I'm I'm in here solo dolo. I'm handling business. You know I'm down with the Fromily and all that. But guys, today I need a little help, so I had to put out a call to my man from the movie blog. Anthony White, thank you so, so much for coming out. Say hello to the rest of the family, please. Yo, what's good, people? Anthony with the movie block here. Yo, I am ready. I am so excited. It is from season again. I'm, I'm ready for this show. Yes. Now, I want to give y'all a little heads up. Yes, we know this teaser trailer dropped, but neither I nor Anthony have seen it yet. So please don't spoil nothing yet. Okay, this is going to be our first time watching. It took all the willpower in the world not to watch this. So please comment. I know y'all already synced it. I know y'all thirsty, but let, let, let us have this moment just, just for now. All I seen was a thumbnail, so I don't know exactly what's going on, but let us watch this. We are going to go uh, through this. I understand that we also got a, a window of when this is coming out. So we're going to go through this. Um, before we do that, Anthony, is there anything that you are looking forward to? Anything that you're excited about? <laughs> um, any any thoughts before we jump die, before we jump into this? Yes. I mean, you know, the expectations are sky high, right? The season two left us at a really, really good high point where I need them to start answering some questions for all these mysteries they're introducing. So I'm hoping this teaser at least hints at some answers going into season three. I don't, I don't think that's uh, asking for too much. I mean, then again, this show has a bad habit <laughs> of not answering anything like at all. So um, I am looking forward to this as well. Um, but let's see, we got to get ready. I think I got the trailer already primed up but just like we got to do oh we are, are you in a hurry or something no nah, pull it up i'm excited I mean, bro you've been waiting all day Clicking you've been waiting 15 hours what you what, what's a couple seconds fine right. let's roll it out come on let's get ready all right all right all these people got got they you know, pants and a bunch and all that. All right, so here it is. We got the first teaser trailer. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Um, let me actually make sure y'all can hear this because I'm gonna. I don't want to make. I don't want y'all to have audio issues. You got snacks? <laughs> I don't have snacks. Why don't you give me snack? I, don't, I got some. Hey man, I ain't got no snacks. I want some snacks. I done ran out of my Albanese and everything. Okay, whatever. All right, y'all. Let's get to it. Here we go. You said this place couldn't break you. That's what she said. Let's see. You're so strong. Just... No, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm crying. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that was that was tough. Um. Wow. Okay. Uh. So first of all, first of all, 
Oh, we're, we're definitely running it back. That <laughs> ain't no way we finna take the 30 seconds and not run it back. <laughs> oh my gosh. First of all, I think the best thing that we got from this is that from is coming in the fall. Yes. That's the best. Th- that's the best news. So many people have been bothering my timeline, my socials, and I've seen people asking this in the groups and everything. When are we getting from? But now it seems as though we are finally getting it in the fall. Now, what date that is, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I know we had some people that are international. They was like, yo, when does the fall start in the U.S.? <laughs> For us, it is late September. And I should know because that's around my birthday. Late September, probably October, November. <laughs> like, that's all we know. It's, it's between those three months. September, October, November, that's when we will be getting season three of From. Uh, Last I heard, um, some of the actors had already finished filming. Um, Who was the bus driver lady? Uh, The black lady. She she had posted some on her Instagram. So she's done, but like other actors still have to do their shots and filming. So I believe they're not going to be done until june so if they're done in june that means they still are going to have a couple months to finish up some uh vfx and things um because i remember what was it last yeah season two even when we had gotten a couple advanced screeners them things was not finished like they were working on it to the last minute so i can't wait i'm pretty sure um harold just went back harold just went back to shoot more scenes Okay. Okay. Um, so, okay. Before we go back and start looking at this again, what was your initial reaction to this teaser? I mean, at first I was a little, I'm a little confused because, mm. you know, part of it feels like a lot of time must have passed, mm. but it also feels like not a lot of time has passed at all. Okay. Like, if you, I, I think if I'm not mistaken, Boyd is still, still wearing that same shirt he wore in the season Two finale that one where he got his arm scratched by mm. martin in the cave and then he's bleeding all out it mm-hmm. looks like he's still wearing the same outfit but okay there's snow on the ground did you see that i did i gotta go back and re- re-watch it listen i don't i don't have the critical eye yet i got i gotta watch this like 10 more times <laughs> but uh, listen first of all you know they don't have a lot of shopping options you know <laughs> like the gap done closed you know, they it, it ain't no like twenty one north can't. or whatever. Yeah, like everybody ain't got that many options. So I mean, my I mean, man boy probably got three fits. They got Mrs. Lou's closet, right? They just go up in the yeah. bar and figure out what you know they done salvaged and put that on. Yeah, I mean, Kenny got a new outfit. He's looking like he's from the Gap now. Listen, Kenny probably got that from one of the bus people. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to make do. But let's go back to the uh, episode and let's kind of go through it little by little um, and yes. just see if there was anything. That we picked up. So this was like the first clip. So clearly uh it's Boyd and Jade uh with a wheelbarrow. Let's see here. Now, whose white foot is that? Because that don't yeah, that looked like a white foot to uh, me. No, can you I see it? I see it. That looked like a white that is. I don't know. I mean, insert white victim here. I don't know. Like- it looks like a small white foot too. That don't Ooh. look like a very large foot. Even though they wearing big shoes, because that Man. shoe definitely is way bigger than uh than what they. So this could be any town resident. I guess the search is on at this point to go back in season two and find out who was wearing that white shoe. Yep. Or I wouldn't say a white shoe, but who had a shoe that had maybe some white on the bottom. And maybe we could do some detective skills and find out that way. Maybe. Um, but, I mean, is this another victim from the Cicada Killer? From the bus? Could be. Because they were be. still... Did they Did they actually remove all the bodies from the that's bus? Another like- good po- yeah, that's a good point. I mean, did they even have time to get rid of bodies. I mean, even the bodies uh Julie. Get... No, not just her. Um the one that uh died 
uh, in the bed. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, do they have enough time to, like, get everybody out at that point? What about the dude who, her brother? Oh, could be. Could be. I see some people. Oh, the house collapse. Great point. Yes. Could be the house collapse. Could be the bus guy. Could be a lot. Yeah. These are great points. Great points. Okay. Um, so clearly, I wouldn't say these are new victims. These might just be victims that have not been collected yet right okay all right let's go you said this place couldn't break you ah now let's go back to that because you know i was i was struggling and i was asking like what th this this voice said you said this place could not break you and i was killing myself trying to figure out what episode was that and thankfully you helped me out with it this was right after boyd got out um, if you guys recall, this was right after Boyd got out after he defeated the cicada monster and he was cussing him out out loud and said that, you know, this place is not going to effing break me. So that's where this line is being referenced from. But I found, I found something interesting about this while Boyd is saying this, this is after he defeated it. He uh, smashed the ballerina box and all that. What I found interesting about this is he said this during the daytime. Hmm. Last time we went underground mm -hmm. with Julie, who couldn't mm -hmm. shut the hell up. We saw that the monsters apparently sleep during the day. But what I find interesting about this is if Boyd said this during the daytime while they're supposedly sleeping. How is it that they still heard him? So, so is there a connecting entity that still allows them to hear them? Is this all just telepathic where they can just still hear people, you know, in their minds? I've, I've, I have to go back and look at something now. Now okay. I'm going to go back to season one and look at the finale and listen mm -hmm. to the voice on the phone. Because okay. The voice that was talking on the phone was talking all sorts of stuff that he knew that was going on in the town for Jim. For yeah. Jim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm going to see what that voice sounded like. I'm going to see if it sounded like what we just heard here. So that voice definitely gave the impression that they were watching them. Yes. Right. And that's where I'm kind of like, okay, in terms of perspective, they were watching them and they were actively communicating with them again during the daytime. Yep. And the fact that this new, you know, this monster was basically saying like, yo, you said that we couldn't break you. This place couldn't break you. And let's also throw this out there because the boy in white alluded to this as well. The entire town seems to have a consciousness. This place is alive. So is it possible that this place and the monsters have a relationship? Hmm. Does that make sense? Like, maybe the place is talking to the monsters. Maybe the monsters are talking to the place. I can see that. I can totally see that. Maybe this place is a monster. Maybe, maybe it is, but... The boy in white kind of talked about how, and I have to go back and revisit this, you made this place angry. So I don't know if the place itself is a monster. It might, but it clearly can be provoked. So if something can be provoked, I wonder if something can also therefore be pleased. But the question is, what kind of what, what pleases this place? Is it staying in a state of fear or like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just throwing this out there. I see what you're going with that. Like, is it feeding on something that the inhabitants are giving it? Right. Right. Uh, what right. else do you have? We got creepy Victor, you know, and he got a <laughs> coat on. He got a coat on. So it definitely indicates to what you were saying with the temperature change. Um, And that was definitely a big mystery i think here because 
he talked about how the seasons never changed. At least not before. So right. if they never changed before and they're changing now, this place, this entity is evolving and reacting. Any ideas as to what the temperatures or season changes might mean? You know, I've been running with the theory that this just means they've graduated to the next level, right? Because mm. if this was a video game, you mm -hmm. just cleared level one and mm -hmm. level two. Mm -hmm. Now you up to level three. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I like I like that video game analogy mainly because um, when you think about playing video games, one of the worst things a video game will allow you to do is just stand in place. You know, like you, you can't just stay there because it's going to do something to get you to engage. And the only real active player that we have is Boyd. Every time Boyd goes out into the forest, something usually good happens. Yep. You find food, you find a talisman, you find some worms, you know, but something happens where like it escalates, especially in um in the levels so to speak so to your point so i do like that but victor is i'm i'm wondering how much victor still plays a vital role in all of this i mean we found out that you know we finally found out more about his sister yep. well that he had a sister yeah. um we found out you know that um you know what happened to his mom well, kind of, at least. Um, well, yeah, we know that she left him, but we don't really know what mm -hmm. happened to her. And yeah, now we have another player. Tabitha's out in the wild. She mm. left and she went and did her own thing, too. And mm -hmm. we still have yet to learn what benefits she's going to bring mm -hmm. to everyone else now that she's gone out and explored. So, and I'll just tease this. Yes. I will be making more videos. I needed to see when we were going to get season three so I could time this up. But I got a theory. I got a theory that we already know what she's going to bring to the table. I got a theory that it's already been confirmed what happened. Okay. I'll put that in the video later. I'll put that in the video later because I need people to come back. I need people to come back. I need them to come watch the videos. You know what I'm saying? For the algorithm. <laughs> and y'all will not be displeased. But anyway, um, okay. So Victor at this point feels useless. I think I, uh, I'm just not seeing it with him. He looks pretty scared. I don't know what else he. He can always do. looks scared. You're right. <laughs> what are we doing? What is Victor doing besides looking creepy and hiding behind poles? You know, like he's Spice Adams or something behind a tree. What is he, he doing? Now he gets bullied by Jade. Right? He gets. He's a sidekick again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right all right um okay hold on wait a minute hey 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 leave i, I leave <laughs> i don't want y'all getting spoiled now oh. if you have not watched from i need you to go start watching okay i don't want this spoil for y'all this is a great fantastic show go watch it get out of here because we spoiling this show now Okay, go on now. I don't I want you to come back and you will have a fantastic time. Okay. I don't want y'all like you know uh get spoiled. And when you do watch the episodes, make sure to come back to E-Man's channel and watch his recaps. You and watch the his too. too. Watch the e what go to the movie blog. Listen, this is a combined effort here. Okay. <laughs> you can come watch my little recaps and all that, but y'all go watch his interviews. My man actually interviews Smiley. Y'all remember Joker face? Little smiley face? He interviewed him. I didn't even get to talk to smiley face. So y'all make sure y'all go check out his videos too, okay? This is a combined effort. All right, so we got we got useless Victor. Uh, let's see, who else we got? Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You went too fast. I know. There you go. It's not my fault. This, <laughs> this goes a little faster. My man Jay Woo! looking kind of rough. My man Jade has gone through some things. Man. Okay. 
Like when he first came in, remember he was he even clean cut? Shea he was, was pretty clean cut. Was he, he came in with his friend. They had just came off some some tech thing. They yeah, he was at the deal. Silicon Valley, you know, yeah. prep talk and all that stuff. You know, okay, that, yeah, okay. Uh, but um, but what looked, I like about him is he seems a lot less jittery. He looks homeless. <laughs> he does look homeless. I mean, he does look homeless. Um. He looked like he gonna ask for a sandwich soon, real fast, at thirty five cents. Oh, uh, exactly, exactly. Thirty five cents. Change for him. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Jay definitely um, looks different. Um, but let's also not forget what he saw. Oh. He just came out the, the out the cave. Like my man was in the tunnels. Okay, he was in the tunnels. Did he see? Yeah, he did interact he with the with the ashy he saw kids. The cabbage patch kids. He yeah, saw the he saw them dusty kids. old kids and stuff. So Dirty you know, he 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 already been seeing some things, and he feels like he's kind of like a, a a new man. You know, I feel like now all of that speculative. Um, you know, he was not really a believer, so to speak. So now he's kind of sort of coming around a little bit more. So I feel like now he's like, man, this is like a, a total 180 from yes. when he first started. He's definitely That's playing the game now. He's definitely oh. playing the game now. Oh, he knee deep. He is special character now at this point mm -hmm. with the visions and everything. Mm -mm. Yeah. Now okay. that he's trying to figure out the whole symbol and everything. Uh -huh. that, that was his thing. He was on his own little quest trying to figure out the symbol. Right. And that was like one of my little favorite aspects of the show. It almost felt like people were all on their own individual quest. We had mm -hmm. Boyd on his quest. He's coming back with stuff, Tabitha. And now Jay looked like he done, he done went through the lost levels. You know what? And let me put some respect on Jay's name. He is one of the few people that was actually like, hey, look, can we all talk? Yes. Can, can we figure this out together? My yes. man said, Victor, come here. Show me what you know. Sh give me the pictures. Hey, Tabitha, come in. Come, come in. You saw them ashy kids too? Let's talk. Where they at? <laughs> Where they at? I like this. I like this. Okay. All right. So Jade is on point. My man is making some moves. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Man, we got a new player. A new challenger has Ooh. entered the building. Ooh. My goodness. So... In case y'all don't remember, this is the same cowboy that we saw in earlier episodes as well. Um, I believe I don't he might have shown up earlier than this, but I the quickest that I could find was in season two when he showed up um right at the door. Yeah, and this is right when the bus folks arrived, and he was one of the you know monsters that came to try and lure people outside oh he was getting fatima fits yeah he, ooh, fatima i ain't never seen fatima lose it like that but um it looks like with smiley gone which still kind of hurts I, i'm mad they got rid of his bro he was on the face he was the he was the prime player you know and they got rid of him you but know, when you got the joker now you got to bring in someone else i mean what who is he the, the woody the Riddler? They got Woody, <laughs> Woody the Toy Story? You know, like Toy Story Monster? That's what we're going to call him. We're going to call him Woody. Because we, no, we don't have no other name. So Woody if you're following the recaps, you know I like to label people. That's going to be Woody for y'all right there. Who's his sidekick? Alfred? You know what? <sighs> the Penguin? He looked like Watson. A Watson. I like that. He looked like Watson, you know, Sherlock Holmes. He looked yeah. like a Watson. He looked like he got a pocket watch. With the bow tie and everything. He looked like a college professor that just got tenure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That but uh, Woody is definitely sticking. And we'll we'll see if Watson can stay. I don't know. Uh, somebody said Festa. <laughs> Festa. Festa ain't never wear no bow tie, though. He ain't never wear no bow tie. But I like where you go with that. But it's interesting here how he is apparently becoming the new ringleader, I mm -hmm. guess. Because before, it seemed like Smiley was always kind of taking over. But, hey, it's a new sheriff in town, you know. <laughs> and, uh, man, this it's just, it's coming. It's coming easily okay. now, you know. Um, but let's, let's uh, was there any other points you wanted to make about him? 
No, nah, no, nah, that's it. Okay. All right. Let's see if there was anything else. What she said. Whoa. So we got the cicadas. Hold on. Let's see if I can get back that uh, scene. Okay. So oh. clearly, clearly, Boyd has been captured by the monsters. And they're in some sort of barn or whatever. I don't know if this is the same barn in the town. Um, it's a safe guess. Sure. Because, I mean, where else are they going to go, right? Right. So this leads me to believe that if they are in the barn, <laughs> somebody must have messed up and removed the talisman. Or he got chased or he got cornered or whatever. Right. Um, but it's not just him because we hear that some other woman is with him. Mm -hmm. Could be more people, but at the very least, we know it's Boyd and another woman and they're clearly ganging up on him and they're holding him hostage and they want him to watch. Now, does this remind you of anything? Or do you have any thoughts about this scene so far? 100%. Um, mm. This reminds me of, uh, what's her name? Katie? Kelly. Kelly, excuse me. Kelly, when they tied Kelly. her to the tree. Great minds think alike, because I was just about to bring that up. Bam, Kelly. Yeah, because mm -hmm. um, they didn't outright kill her the same way that they killed everyone else. They wanted to torture her. One of the right. things that we saw in that season was that they will sometimes play with their food, so to speak. Exactly. So, so, like, whatever they're doing to him, I feel like he might have antagonized them when he was saying, you won't effing break me. And mm -hmm. now they're like, oh, well, this is what we do to those who think we can't break them. And they're getting something out of this. And here's another little fun nugget. Woody was not only there in the first, in the second episode of season two. He was also there in season, in yeah. episode six. Yeah. He was right there. So he saw Boyd take down Smiley. Yep. And he was curious. He was like, whoa there, partner. <laughs> what is going on over yonder? So it's interesting. And I wonder if this could be payback. I wonder if he could be setting him up for some payback. But yeah, great point about this. Because clearly we, you know, we've found out over the course of flashbacks and people having these conversations that the monsters have evolved. We found out that the monsters initially, they used to just come on out and just kill folks. Yep. And then after a while, they started screaming just to evoke fear. And then they would start stalking people and killing them that way. And then after that, I want to say they stopped screaming and they just started walking to stalk their victims. And it would appear as though Kelly might have been the first time that the monsters decided, you know what, rather than just outright stalking them and killing them, now we're going to play with our food. Now we're going to start playing around with them and we're going to torture them and we want them to watch. We want them to actually see what's going on so it looks like Boyd is the next one. And whatever they did to uh, the boyfriend, Brian, I want to say, because uh, it was Brian Kelly, I believe. Um, it looks like that's what's happening to this girl, whoever whoever is getting tortured at this point. Um, let's see. Ah, Ooh. Uh, before we move on, was there anything else in this scene that stood out to you that you wanted to? talk about or no like everything that you just mentioned about brian kelly and the way that they treated kelly that, that mm -hmm. was all spot on okay. i'm excited for this next scene right here absolutely oh man so yeah right here we're back to the bottles mm -hmm. back to the bottles now is this the far away tree here i can't let me see if i can make this is this the far away tree or is it just showing where the bottles are i think it's just the bottles see that's tough because i feel like we saw the bottles 
a couple of different times in a couple different circumstances. And it might have been different angles, too. We definitely saw it in that finale with the faraway tree. But uh -huh. you, I think you taught me before about how we saw them when Boyd initially went in the forest with Sarah. Yes. But no, before that. Oh, and before that, with the, it was Jade. Uh, the so Jade with the soldier. Yeah. So Jade. Now I'm wondering if those are multiple locations. Like I don't know if it's only one place that has bottles. It could be multiple different areas in the forest that have them as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know because if I'm not mistaken, wasn't there a bunch of bottles next to the the lighthouse faraway tree? That is the lighthouse far away tree. Well, okay. So the one in the season two finale was the lighthouse far away tree. Uh huh. Then wherever Boyd and Sarah went, he saw a bunch of bottles, and then Jade uh -huh. had a hallucination about it. But okay. when Jade hallucinated it, they weren't really there. Okay. Okay. He was just um trying to help uh hang Jim hang up the antenna for uh to try to make a radio signal out of town. Uh huh. So this this time it could be either the faraway tree, which I, I which doesn't sound off. But it, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would I would imagine that they're going they're hinting at the faraway tree. Do we have any ideas yet as to what the bottles represent? Because <clears throat> so far, I think the two main things that we know is that, or at least the connections. They or three, they do have something to do with time mm -hmm. because the civil rights, uh, civil rights, civil war, civil <laughs> war, the civil war soldier hanging from the tree, very similar to how the bottle was hanging from the tree with the same year of the civil war. Um, so I think that there's a connection there. Maybe every dead body that's there turns into a bottle maybe um but there's definitely a parallel there um and i want to say sarah who has this weird connection with this place she also um was like yo don't touch them bottles right like leave them bottles alone right so there's something not good about the bottles now of course boyd was like forget that what's this say you know <laughs> But any ideas maybe of like what the bottles are, what they mean, what what's the purpose? It's tough because they, this show plays with symbolism a lot, right? It They're does. hanging bottles that, that from a tree. Mm -hmm. There's some symbolism there. But we also saw that symbolism repeated when we saw J, uh, Jim. They, uh, I think Tabitha had a dream when she was dreaming of going in the lighthouse. And she saw like Jim hanging from That's a true. rope or something upside down. Yeah. And yep. it was similar just to like how a model or just like the Civil War. Uh, just like the guy. Civil War guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's see, that's what I had asked during that episode. Does that mean Jim is going to die? Right. Because the only people we've seen hung upside down were people that were dead. Just like these bottles. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. All right. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Let's see. Oh. Do we know what the hell's going on with this dummy? No, man. No. This dummy is just like... He he freaks me out because he's everywhere. First right? of all, I don't like dummies. <laughs> I don't like... First, that's first and foremost. Yeah. Um, But... This is clearly something that belonged to somebody from a town before. Because remember, they said that those monsters, they kind of like covet the things that people that in the town have yeah we've seen them dressing up like them we've seen smiley on the bus be fascinated with the bus and started pretending to drive so these monsters have some sort of fascination with humans and they want to be like humans so all these things that they've gathered were almost like a treasure to them so here's my question. Jay keeps seeing this doll. He does. Right? When he keeps seeing this, not every time, but a couple times when he was seeing the symbol, this doll wasn't far behind. Mm -hmm. Well, he only saw it 
once, twice? I want to say twice. He definitely saw like it. Like he saw it in the vision, but I, didn't he see it when he went down there? He might have because it in was the down there. I know Tabitha saw it when she was Yeah, we Victor. yeah, Victor was scared by it. Yeah. And 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 Victor drew it. Yeah. He, he put it in a drawing too. We all know about those drawings. If you I don't know listen, about these drawings. <laughs> listen. Them drawings, them them drawings. That that's a lot. That's a lot. Anything else on the on the dummy? The ventriloquist dummy? Yeah. Um, no, man. He give me the creeps. Okay. All right. Same. Um, let's see. What else is there? Okay. You're so strong. Just... No, 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 no. I know. 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 All right. Yo, that so... makes me jump every time. <laughs> <sighs> I don't think they are killing this person. I do think that they are torturing them. A leg might be getting chopped off. Something something bad is happening because Boyd is saying you're strong. You're strong. Which means you try to bear it. Mm -hmm. Try to take it. Whatever it is that they're doing, just try and take it. And the fact that, you know, I, I mean, I don't know if he's seen torture in his military past, but it would not surprise me if if he has seen some form of it. Because he was a medic, if I'm not mistaken, right? He he was a medic, but was, was he a Marine or was Abby a Marine? Abby was a Marine. He okay. was in the Army. Okay. Yeah, she was the tough one. She well, she was tougher. <laughs> oh, hold on. That's they uh, giving birth. Is my, this Fatima? Yeah. Did they cat is that Fatima and Boyd in the in the telling his daughter in law to be strong? Wait a minute. Wait a, Wait minute. a minute. Hold on. I'm seeing some great ideas. They taking the baby. Mm, that would be interesting. That hey, would be interesting. Yo. Because that, if you think about it, I put this theory out there before. Something wrong with that damn baby. That baby, there's nothing okay about this baby. I mean, they could grow food here. They can't grow a baby. <laughs> but it's not just that. It's the you know, because I put this out there before that, like, the time clearly works yeah, differently here. Yeah. So, you know, it would be interesting because I don't think she was showing by the time the season was over, if I'm not mistaken. like Not at all. She was still I, sharing the news with people. Right. But because time works differently here, maybe, and we've never seen a baby be around here it could just be like she wakes up and she's like eight months pregnant I nine mean, months the show feels like it's got a one kid uh, uh allowance <laughs> in this town and we already got crazy ethan creepy ethan running around uh right can't have ethan's, too many kids well right? they do ethan's got the, the only kid right well they got no they got the dusty kids too i mean come on, <laughs> come on. i mean i don't know Last time we saw them kids, they was uh being they was on like a sacrifice table. So could this baby be that? Ooh. Could that baby be part of the sacrificial ritual that they need to have going for whatever reason? Maybe that's what happened to the cabbage patch kids. Maybe oh yeah, they were definitely part of some ritual, but for maybe sure. kids born there get sacrificed. Sure. I okay. mean let me stop. There have clearly been a lot of people that have come through this town. Yes. Like, it's, it, you know, if Victor was there since the 70s, now he did say there was a gap in time where he was just alone for a while. Yes. But we don't know how many people came through with kids before then and after. There is a playground. Like, when the show started. There is a playground. Uh, it was a little girl. The very first episode, it was just yeah. that one little girl. Yeah. So, um, 
I like the Fatima idea. I like that. I like that theory that this could be her giving birth. I mean, it would add to the kookiness of what what's happening in all of here, right? But let me throw one other theory out here because I, I, I want people to also think about this just because of the nature of this show. This whole thing could be a dream. The whole thing. Come on, man. No, man. Let's not pretend. <laughs> I know it takes the fun out of it, but let's not pretend this man wasn't watching whole ballerinas for four or five episodes. Yeah. I'm just saying, illusions are a part of this show. I mean, that's when he had the worms in them. They, they. Yes. Yes. All I'm saying is, I'm not going to be surprised. If for the teaser, they want to show us the craziest stuff that was all an illusion. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. This is just a teaser. This might not, I'm just saying, this might not be actually happening. This could be Fatima's bad dream. This could be, what was it? Didn't they do that with the uh, with the drug addict girl? <laughs> Imagine that scene yeah. where, where Smiley woke Smiley up. Smiley came back, yeah. And, yo, first of all, that whole scene, that messed me up. Yes. They got me with that scene. But if somebody said, hey, look at this teaser for From and they showed you that, wouldn't it look compelling? This is true. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe, we, you know, just it could be a fake out. We have to consider these things. I know nobody want to feel. I know people don't want to hear that. We tough. like to get our theories. We want to be right. I like to consider all possibilities, including getting screwed over with some shenanigans because from like to play games. <laughs> Man, that, that would be a tough one. That would be a tough one. You want to watch it again? The, oh, absolutely. Run it back. Okay. I just want to I just want to see if there was anything. Let's watch it again. You said this place couldn't break you. That's what she said. Let's see. You're so strong. You're so strong. Just... No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Man, I'm, I'm really leaning towards the giving birth thing now. Yeah. Because he's yeah. not saying, like, stop, stop, don't, don't. He's saying, I know, I know, as in, like, yeah, giving birth hurts. Yeah, you you know what? You know what? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad theory. It's not a bad theory. I rock with that. This is this is a little tough. This is a little tough to little to process. Like yes, from we torturing babies now. <laughs> Listen, I'm not putting nothing beyond this show. I'm not putting nothing beyond it. Like. There's a lot of stuff that this show can do that we weren't expecting before. Um, and they hit us with it anyway. Yeah. I'm so, still trying to figure out who are they wheeling out in that wagon. I don't know. But it looked like they were a size six. And they were in a size ten. You know? You know who would be a size six? Mm. Kenny. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Because I want to see Kenny's villain arc complete. <laughs> I want to see Kenny's villain arc complete. This man has been going through it. Yeah. he. This could just be his downward spiral. Listen, they killed this man's daddy. They, they lied daddy. to him. His I girl did. done turned out that she liked another girl and she wouldn't even let him play along in challenges style. Nope. What are we doing? My man just sitting here getting his heart broken left and right. What else he got? <sighs> Kenny got to go full. He got to break bad. He got to. He tired of this place. Boy done lied to him. He can't trust nobody. Kenny going to be a villain. Maybe. Kenny going to be a villain. All right, let me grab some of these comments here, um, and then we'll get going here. Don, doing watch parties for the show uh, or just post live. So 
uh, what I will be doing and Anthony as well. Uh, we will hopefully be doing um, recaps and breakdowns as the shows come out. Um, so if we get these things early and we get early access, that just gives us time to prep and everything. Um, then you're going to get these things after the fact, right? So you'll get like standalone videos. Um, but usually we will do lives when we just get them the day of. So if we don't have time to prep, if we don't have that kind of time, you know, ahead of time to edit the videos and do all that, then we'll more than likely do a live. Well, at least I would. I don't know if Anthony, would you do a live if uh, if we don't get screeners? I would be in our, uh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, um, I think one time we did the live with uh, some other people, right? We did it with uh, Tony, Teflon. Teflon, yeah, mm -hmm. for the finale. I would mm -hmm. do that. If you want to do like a mid-season one, I would do that as well. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, expect post videos, but, you know, not going to rule nothing out. Uh, 60 plus. Thank you so much. So ironic. I just finished watching you guys review of season two with Teflon Tony. There Here you go. go. Anthony and you, E-Man. All right. Divine intervention. I'm so ready. Don't forget to watch Paris. John Carlo Esposito. Framily. Oh, I think you mean Framily. Uh, same thing. I'm so ready. Yes. It's 60 plus. See, not, wasn't it you? I think it was you that was like, when are we going to get some news? I told you we was going to be here. And here we are. Look at that. Uh, but thank you so, so much for that. I appreciate you. Bakers, thank you so, so much for the super sticker. I really, really appreciate you on that. Um, were there any other quick questions? I don't know if I saw some. I know I'm going uh, to read through some of these later, but I don't want, if there was like some good stuff that, uh, some comments from you guys that uh, pertaining to the show um that maybe we could talk about let's see i'm just gonna skim these real fast um yes i think we talked about the baby um wait who was that why why y'all want to get rid of sarah sarah is the key to all this yo sarah got access to the information <laughs> why we why we hate on Sarah? I mean, listen, she did a couple bad things. Who hasn't? Ever nobody nobody's clean around here. I like Sarah. You know, I don't I, I ain't got no problem with Sarah. What, what, what's your general take with Sarah so far? You know, at first I didn't like her because she seemed like just that stereotypical character that I just mm -hmm. don't like, but they gave her some layers, they gave her a lot of a much better purpose in season two as being an accompanying Boyd into the forest and everything that she's done. Um, mm -hmm. So far, I, I'm more interested to see what she can contribute than just getting her out of there. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, let's see. Did, oh, did you have something else? No, nah, I just started thinking about oh, Flood of Memory started coming back. Oh, I started gotcha. thinking about uh, what was the um, father, Father Katri? Katri. Yeah, Father Country had her locked up in the basement for a while. Yeah. Nothing strange about that. That's all. Yeah. Uh, did Victor know Martin? I don't believe so. Um, in case you guys have not, make sure you go watch my theory video um, where I believe I put out my theory as to who Martin really was um, and why Martin is the way that he is. Um, but uh, just to put it very shortly, Martin was not real. They're like, Martin is not real to me, to me. And you can go watch my video. I put all my little theories together. Um, you know, I actually I have more evidence, but I got to put that in another video. But to me, Martin was never real at all. So the more you try to think about why Martin was real, the less things make sense versus thinking about if Martin wasn't real. Just pros and cons. Do you have any ideas about Martin or theories or I don't know if you made any videos about him? Because the so, big question, who threw the rope? Well, huh? the rope, the rope. <laughs> so I felt like Martin was a ghost of uh, somebody who you was in the town before. I think mm -hmm. I had a video together on who is Martin really. And one of the things that um, I theorized is that, you know, this show, when when they 
have an incident of two cars, it's almost like the beginning of a new round, mm. right? Like it's definitely it, a special event. It's a special event, old out with the old cast in with the new kind of mm -hmm. thing. And I feel like Martin might have been one of those people who got up to level two, but went out in the forest and something happened to him when the round started. So my theory is is a long, not too far off from yours. I don't think he's a living person. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I'm, I'm curious what you think. So I'm, I'm going to pick your brain about that later. <laughs> OK, well, we can talk about it. Uh, another one from Lavish uh, is Boyd officially cured now. Yes. Cured um, I, uh, I think from the worms. So, like, I would say that he is mainly because the worms clearly were was that entity, that evil entity that entered him. My blood is your blood now. Um, and if you follow the traces throughout the show. You saw Boyd give it to Smiley, and the moment he gave it to Smiley, it stayed in Smiley. If it was still with Boyd, again, we're just looking at the evidence, then he also gave his blood to Ellis, to his son. His son does not have worms. Boyd does not have worms. So it is reasonable to conclude that Boyd is actually cured. Now, what about his Parkinson's? Oh, that I still think he has, but we haven't seen him display that. Right. So th that might still be going on. Um, but I, I, I assume that they were talking about the worms. But if it's about the Parkinson, I don't know that he might still have that. And I'm still kind of questioning that because I'm like a lot of the diseases and health everything seems accelerated here boyd's parkinson's all those typical symptoms that um you know christy was like oh that doesn't happen until later he's getting those symptoms a lot faster um ethan when he got injured he healed up real fast uh ellis when he got stabbed he's already up and walking look fatima my, listen it might take her two days to get pregnant well i don't know you know, the seasons are changing. You say you saw some snow. Time might be working a little different here. You know, um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? I'm skimming through. I'm trying to see if I find anything. Mm -hmm. uh, pff, bottle service. Apparently they do. Apparently there is bottle service there. Uh, and I'm not mad at it. Uh, we saw my man uh, making making wine in the bar, you know uh let's see when is season three starting in the fall we, we don't have an actual date yet so at all we know is that it's a uh it's a window so it's somewhere in the fall i know exactly when i'm calling off work <laughs> like i'm gonna be like look september 1st i'm not me no here no me no here um i think i'm getting most of these i'm trying to go back uh the girl who reunited with her ex was addicted to pills yes she was uh that was the nurse right yeah i forget yeah. her name the blonde girl yeah uh christy's girlfriend christy's um but yeah she is a she's a former drug addict um well that's the question that you were kind of playing with is the guy in the hat the same guy who on the radio I don't think so, but I haven't heard the voice in a long time, so I can't speak to that with any level of confidence. It's a theory. Yeah. I mean, why not? You know, like if the monsters are talking, like, pfft, sure. Um, I think it would be more interesting if it was a different voice, only because it would add another layer of is there a third party involved? Like right. I, it, it to me, it would feel too simple if it was just the monsters talking to them. And I also feel as though if it was the monsters, I feel like they would let them know that. No. Because it didn't seem like they were playing with them. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Um, I don't know if there was anything else. I'm scrolling. I'm looking. Um. Oh, my man Dion. What well, we got it? 
Uh, thank you so much. Hate to say it, but I think we're losing Kenny, Jim, and maybe Sarah. Why? What? Why we got to lose all of them? Dion, come on, bro. Leave Sarah alone. She has been through enough. Why my boy Kenny? Listen, Jim can go. I don't really care about Jim too much. But I got the feeling that Jim ain't finna leave. Um, I had to guess it was going to be Mario. I mean, it's got to be expendable people. It has to be and expendable people. All the bus people are expendable. If Every bus is person is expendable. Every single one. Look, Tilly got to die. Because Tilly know too much. Tilly is <laughs> suspect. You know, she always in the right oh, place nah. at the right time. Leave Tilly alone, Tilly's got to go. And she old. I'm not trying she's to be ages. I'm just saying. She's leading prayer circles. Leave her alone. <laughs> That's why she got to go. You can't be out here giving hope, <laughs> giving giving aspirations. You got to go in this place. Nah, man. That's it. Um, my man Diddy, what you got? What's gonna be going on, with my boy Elgin? Oof, Elgin. You know, so Elgin's had the dreams, um, and he's had a couple dreams. That one of them at least has been answered. One hasn't. The first dream was about the lake or whatever, mm -hmm. the body the of water. Of um, and then of course he had that vision from the cicada entity where he was being drowned by some dead person in a Hawaiian shirt or whatever <laughs> that people thought was Fatima for whatever reason, but. Clearly, there's a connection between the the body of water and death. Something is there, but we don't really know. And the only other thing Elgin has done so far, I think, is he's had a conversation. Well, he hasn't had a conversation, but he heard the boy in white. Because the boy in white told him about the jingle. Yeah. Or the lullaby or whatever. So Elgin definitely has a similar connection to this place that Sarah has. It might not be as strong, but he has it. Cuz clearly everybody has levels to how they how strongly they connect to this place. And Sarah seems to be the strongest one so far. Like she can hear people, she can hear the voices. It, you know, it, it, it's not like Words they have pop to come up in her veins. Yeah, well, don't do that. <laughs> don't do it. Sarah did not have worms. No words, words. Oh, okay. Words. I thought you said worms because you know everybody's like, she's got the worms. She ain't had no worms. I'm they sorry. I'm from, Bronx, stuff yeah. out. I'm from the Bronx. <laughs> it's all good. Um. So yeah. Um. We'll have to wait and see. But I think Elgin is going to be one of those. You know, just like Jade, Sarah. Ethan, Victor, anybody that's got a special connection to the place, I don't think they will be killed off. Because they're the only ones that can help us get more answers. I mean, people could die. Father Country was starting to lead us in the right direction when he died. But he ain't had no special connection to the place. He only You're right, but he served his purpose, story-wise. True. Because True. all his purpose really was was like, pay attention to Sarah because she's connected to this place. She's important. And because of that, Boyd spared, you know, basically protected Sarah because the town was going to kill her. They was going to put her in the box straight up. Yep. So that 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 helped her out. Um, rundown, what you got? Don't let Nick Cannon on the show and near Fatima. Come on now. Oh, come why, on. Why, <laughs> how, how, why Nick how Cannon got to catch a strike? Why did how what did he do here? He wasn't even here. <laughs> he was minding his own business. This man was minding his own business on wilding out, just just planning another show, probably having another kid. I like why he how gotta be in drag. Why he gotta get dragged into this? Uh, but thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um I like how Philly, Elgin, Philly uh, is the old lady. She's the old white lady that knew way too much. She was on the bus. She stopped Jim when Jim was about to put two and two together. 
with that exit sign. I still remember. Tilly was like, I, 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 I need to interrupt this potentially important moment. She knew where Kenny was to direct Boyd when Boyd didn't even ask her where Kenny was. Tilly knows too much. Don't like it. The <laughs> second she got off the bus, she started dancing in the rain. Like she was enjoying the fact that she was in this hell hole of a town. Tilly got maybe, to go. Maybe she got a connection. Nah, maybe she's just crazy. <laughs> ah, she's suspect. She on my list. Nah. Um, let's see. Hold on. I think I think we are caught up. Hold on. Uh, Nicole, what you got? I'm late, but the lady screaming sounds like Sarah. Could be. Maybe. I can't identify a female screaming like that. You think um Boyd would be consoling Sarah? Boyd would Boyd has grown more familiar with her. I mean, they've been through some things. They went on a whole, you know, adventure. You know, they were all door the explorer in the forest. So why not? You know, he protected her for a while. He also know. threatened to shoot her. He did. <laughs> he did. Listen. They've been through some things. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what they say, a uh, trauma bond? They might have a trauma bond. Together. I don't know. But I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. Thank you so, so much for that, uh, Nicole. Um, hold on. I got to let me grab these real quick. Got some uh, quick, quick donations. Uh, donation. Let me just say that. Um Okay. Olanda, thank you so, so much for the $5 cash app. Said, uh, caught alive with you and Anthony. More reviews. Listen, they coming. They are coming. Okay. Like, <laughs> you, I don't think you guys understand how often me and Anthony will blow up each other's phone and be like, hey, when's from coming out? You ready for this? Like, y'all going to get sick of this. Cause y'all gonna get so many videos, it's gonna be ridiculous. Y'all gonna get shorts, y'all gonna get real, y'all gonna get interviews, y'all gonna get breakdowns, y'all gonna get. So, this is going. These are gonna be your number one sources for from content. Stop cheating on us with other people, okay? I mean, you can. We're not gonna do nothing. But I'm just saying, you. It's not gonna get no better than this, okay? Just saying. Nah, Look, but we'll be here. This um, sense. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got Tony. Uh, let's see. Thought Piranha 2 was the spawning of James Cameron's debut. I think it was. Possibly. I know it was something. James Cameron didn't have the best opener, you know, but that's okay. Even Jordan had to struggle when he first came out. So not a big deal. Uh, but all right, guys, I think that is it uh, for the season three um, teaser of From um, had no idea it was going to go a whole hour, but I think that was around the time we wanted to go anyway. Um, oh, hold on. We got Dion here coming in. Uh, in my opinion, they are trying to break Boyd mentally. That's why I'm calling the, those three deaths. Okay. Possible. Yeah. I mean, they definitely take joy in mentally breaking people, you know, and whatever. I guess the fear tastes better or something to them. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but thank you so much for that, Dion. I appreciate you. All right. Um, Anthony, any final thoughts on this teaser or season three? Anything you're looking forward to? There's a lot that I'm looking forward to. There's a bunch of characters that we didn't see in this teaser, mm -hmm. right? This is th this is the main thing for me, right? We didn't see Kenny. We didn't see Mrs. Lou. I think she's sus. Um, what? What? what did Mrs. Lou do? What didn't she do? <laughs> You talk the about the lady Kenny. that was cooking the food, Kenny's mama. The one who was also right next to Sarah when she started seizuring. The one who always conveniently shows up. And here's the here's the um symbol you've been looking for within the book that the other person had. Oh, yeah. go in the go in the barn. There's some clothes in look, Mrs. Lewis sus. There's a lot of times when she just conveniently shows up, and it's way more than Tilly. Oh no, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> No. Okay. What? Well, okay. Whatever. Right, go, ahead. go ahead. I'm going to let you rock on your stuff. <laughs> Listen, Mrs. Lou is fine with me. Okay. I ain't got no problem with, with Kenny's mamas. I think she's fine. I already made my point about Tilly, but go on. Anything else in uh, season three you looking forward to? 
um answers like oh, no, yeah. like for real answers not just oh another se- season of full on i need some answers you jeff pinkner uh all the writers of from we need answers this season i hope y'all know where the expectations are i feel like they're gonna give us some superficial answers and they're gonna ask even bigger questions look if they lost me they lost me <laughs> don't don't say that <laughs> Don't we not? We trying. We are trying to give them the benefit of the doubt that they learn from lost. They learn what worked, and that they're not going to repeat the same mistakes. That's what we're hoping. Um, just I, something. What does yeah. two cars mean? Who's who's the uh, uh, Um Is Ethan now ten or twelve years old? Is he going to have a beard and a mustache? He's about fifteen right now. Right, he's got to be aging up just like everybody else. My man is growing like a sprout. I need answers. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. All right. Well, uh, Anthony, I want to thank you so so much for uh, coming on. Um, I appreciate you uh, contributing. Um, Is there anything that you would like to tell the people about your channel or any projects that you got coming up? Oh, shameless plug. Okay. Yeah. All you guys, feel free to come find me at the movie blog. Me and E Man, we go way back. I'm a friendly face. Don't come at me. <laughs> um, th- over there, I'm going to also be doing my breakdowns and deep dives into from some of you already know me. Um, if you're not very familiar with me, again, me and E Man are like peanut butter and jelly. We both do movie reviews, we both work on the movie blog. Come check us out over there where we got all this uh, wonderful content that you can also enjoy. That is the movieblog.com. The movieblog.com at the movie blog on YouTube at the underscore movie blog on X slash Twitter and the it's movie Twitter. blog online. Thank you. And the movie blog online everywhere else, but uh easy to find. All right. Um, yes, uh, so guys, you guys already know when it comes to from content, I will be on it. I know I still owe y'all a season one, episode 10 video i know i dropped the ball on that i will get to it but i need to rewatch the whole series <laughs> if i'm being very honest with y'all because i forgot some things i took a couple notes but i gotta go back and rewatch everything again um but i promise you i will make up for it we'll get some theories reviews recaps all the fun stuff that you need and that you didn't even know that you wanted and interviews as well um so guys make sure that you stay tuned subscribe hit the notification so you don't miss nothing or go back and go watch some of my videos watch some of anthony's videos um but that's it guys i want to thank you all for tuning in tonight and until next time see you guys later wash your hands wash your butts and everything in between peace (laughs)